Achievers! Today's goal is to achieve maximum clarity on the topic reaction of acids with metals, metal carbonates and metal bicarbonates. It's a very very important topic from the chapter acid, bases and salts. So let's get started. But hey, before we dive straight into it, we have a reminder message for all of you. Baiju's mini learning app is currently absolutely free but this offer is going to end super soon it's going to end on 17th of july so i hope that all of you have availed this offer if not right after this session quickly use this code yt free and unlock all the premium features fatafat se ye jo opportunity hai grab karo and enjoy learning in the most innovative manner you already know that you can unlock the premium features. You can get so many advantages starting from two teacher advantage to the live classes that you can have to the assessments. You can schedule the class as per your convenience. You can choose the topic, class timing, everything. So, bohati flexible approach hogi aape and definitely you'll gain a lot out of it. But reminding you again that the offer is going to end on 17th of July. So, what are you waiting for? If you've not availed this yet, right after this short session, I want all of you to go and avail this offer for sure. Coming back to our agenda for today. So, today we'll be covering three very important NCRT topics. The first is reaction of acids with metals. Then we'll talk about the reaction of acids with metal carbonates and finally reaction of acids with metal bicarbonates. So basically, how are acids reacting with metals? How are they reacting with carbonates and bicarbonates? Today we master karenge and let's get started with the first one. Okay, what do we have over here? You can see that we have iron nails. Yes, and you can also see that we have an acid with us that is sulfuric acid. So, in a way, our reactants are all set. But I want all of you to know the color of the reactants. Because, you know, very soon a chemical reaction is going to take place. Now, you have iron nails, so silvery grain color. And we've got sulfuric acid with us, so that is colorless solution. When iron nails are dipped in sulfuric acid you see that the colors have changed now right some chemical reaction has taken place so let's do one thing let's pin down all our observations first of all you can see that iron is getting corroded obviously in the presence of acid it is getting corroded then do you see bubbles out there that's the next observation that we have that bubbles are being formed when iron was being added to sulfuric acid next Definitely we can see this one, it's very easy to spot that the color of the solution has changed to light green. Also, when a burning matchstick is brought near this beaker, a pop sound was being produced. So yes, that was the fourth observation that we have. So four easy observations that we could figure out from this. Now, this pop sound actually indicates the presence of hydrogen gas. So, hydrogen gas, it's a colorless, odorless, combustible gas which burns with a pop sound. And this light green solution is of iron sulfate or to be very specific, ferrous sulfate. So, iron reacts with sulfuric acid to give you ferrous sulfate. That is the light green solution that you see and hydrogen that is producing the pop sound. Of course, for the evolution of gas, you can definitely use an upward arrow as well. So now, we know the products really well. You see a metal reacting with an acid. So in general, we can say that a metal reacts with an acid to give you salt and hydrogen gas. And the salt in this case, the example that we discussed was ferrous sulfate. So all right, now we know what happens when metals react with acids. Based on this, I'm sure you can definitely complete this reaction. So we've got calcium metal and this metal is reacting with hydrochloric acid to give you a salt that you need to figure out plus hydrogen gas. Now clearly you can see that you, calcium is there and you see Cl, right? Just combine these two. I know what's popping in your mind, what's popping in your head. So this is going to be calcium chloride. Coming to the next equation, we have zinc. Reacting with some acid, we don't know what the acid is, but we know the salt this time. That is zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. Now, this sulfate is like the catch 
you know it's the catchy part of the equation which tells us about the acid so which acid are we talking about we are talking about sulfuric acid so there you go these are the complete equations in both the equations you will notice calcium that's a metal zinc that's a metal reacting with hcl or h2so4 they are the acids to give you the corresponding salt plus hydrogen gas all right now you can definitely relate this to your daily life pickles are making our food delicious right but we always keep them in glass containers and not metal containers why are we doing that well let's see now pickles they contain vinegar right and vinegar of course contains acetic acid so the overall nature is acidic this can actually react with metal so if you use a metal container what's going to happen the acid is going to react with metal and produce poisonous salts and that's why it's advisable not to keep pickles in metallic container because this toxic metal salt that is going to be produced it can actually cause food poisoning and we definitely don't want that right so that is why they are being kept in glass containers all right moving on to the next type of reaction reaction of acid with metal carbonate so the carbonate that we've taken is calcium carbonate over here and the acid is sulfuric acid let's write down the observations now first of all bubbles are being formed this could be hydrogen isn't it okay let's keep this in mind this may or may not be hydrogen second observation hey the gas is extinguishing the match stick then definitely this is not hydrogen right because no pop sound is also being produced this gas actually is carbon dioxide so you see brisk effervescence brisk effervescence basically means the rapid and vigorous evolution of bubbles with a fizzing sound so that is what brisk effervescence is and the gas responsible is carbon dioxide so there you go calcium carbonate reacting with sulfuric acid to give you the salt that's calcium sulfate water and carbon dioxide so in general what we can say that metal carbonates and bicarbonates or hydrogen carbonates they react with acids to give you salt water and carbon dioxide look at this example over here calcium carbonate reacting with sulfuric acid to give you calcium sulfate that's the salt plus water plus carbon dioxide similarly calcium bicarbonate reacting with sulfuric acid to give you calcium sulfate water and carbon dioxide in both the cases you can see the products are the same but i want all of you to balance the equation to understand the difference in the amount of the product that is being formed all right now we know how to identify hydrogen gas by the pop sound right how do we identify carbon dioxide gas well 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 when this carbon dioxide gas is passed through lime water it actually turns milky due to the presence due to the formation of calcium carbonate so this milkiness is because of the white ppt of calcium carbonate that is being formed that indicates the presence that confirms the presence of carbon dioxide but if you will continue to pass carbon dioxide what's going to happen this milky color actually disappears due to the formation of bicarbonate now so this bicarbonate that is being formed is soluble and that's why the milkiness disappears all right with this we've come to the end of this short session so yes we've got you covered and we'll be back with amazing sessions for all of you and this is a reminder that the mini learning program that we have is going to end on 17th of july so quickly use this code yt free and unlock all the premium features that we have for all of you and yes i'm sure you're going to love this experience so go ahead definitely try this out it's ending on 17th of july and now i want all of you to quickly like this video you know the ritual right like the video subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon but before i close i have a homework for all of you right after this session in the comment section i want you to complete this reaction of what happens when acids react with metal oxide so complete this reaction tell me what are the products in general that are going to be formed when acid reacts with metal oxide Complete this keep working hard keep smiling and I'll see you in the next session